Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Saya Faisal Rizdianto. Berikut ini adalah pengenalan aplikasi LinkQ ya. LinkQ. I don't know what does it mean by LinkQ ya. Link means linguistic or language. Learn languages from content you love ya. The fast, fun, and effective way to learn. Ya, ini adalah aplikasi untuk belajar listening, ya. uh, dan bisa dipilih apakah kita beginner, apakah kita intermediate atau advance. Ya. Uh, kalau kita lihat, kalau kita mendaftar, ya, saya memilih yang beginner, ya, karena adalah saya adalah newbie dalam belajar bahasa Inggris. Oke, okay. ini ada li, li Jana, ya. Coba kita cek ya. Ini ada full textnya dan ini very slow ya. Coba kita dengarkan sama-sama supaya kita tahu pengalaman menggunakan LinkQ dalam belajar bahasa Inggris ya. What I learned about Liliana today. Well, I learned who she is. We met for the first time in our first conversation, and I learned that she lives in Croatia near the Slovenia-Italy border in a district called Istria, and uh, lives in a tiny town of only a thousand people, 15 kilometers outside of Pula, which is a much larger area that has about 100,000 people. Uh, she studied biology. Uh, in Zagat, but decided to come back home to Pula uh, because she had the opportunity to be a marine biologist, biologist there and wanted to take it. Uh, in addition, she is very interested in swimming, likes to swim, uh, likes to watch swimming, and would be interested in talking to professional swimmers to Learn how to swim even better. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Bagus sekali. Uh, dan ini bisa dibuat kecepatannya ya. Kecepatan yang pelan ya. Kalau ini cepat ya mungkin ya. Coba saya cek. What I learned about Liliana today. Well, I learned who she is. We met for the first time in our first conversation. And I learned that she lives in Croatia, near the Slovenia-Italy border, in a district called Istria. And ya, jadi ini bisa dipercepat ya. Bagus sekali aplikasinya. Kemudian ini bisa dimundurkan, dimajukan. And I learned that she lives in Croatia, near the Slovenia-Italy border, ya. in a district called Istria. And I lives in a tiny town of only 1,000 people, 15 kilometers outside of Pula. Which yeah. is a much larger area uh, She studied biology uh, in Zagat, nah, but decided normal, to yeah. come back normal. home to Pula okay. uh, because she had the opportunity to. Okay, uh, jadi bagus banget. Ini aksennya British, ya. Yeah. Uh, British. Dan ya ini ada kayak poin-poin ya poin-poin yang didapatkan uh, oke okay, jadi bagus ya walaupun nanti get premium itu berbayar kalau sudah lama memakainya oke okay, pembandingnya adalah VOA uh, VOA learning English ini juga bagus ya ini ada video-video yang seperti ini at the VOA Learning English page on Facebook. And no surprise, many of you said at least... Kita ulangi dari awal aja, biar jelas ya. Dari, dari awal, ini ada, uh, ada pembacaan berita, kemudian ada running textnya ya. Kita juga bisa belajar kalau melihat Film berbahasa Inggris itu subtitlenya kita akan This is the VOA Special English. English Education Report. Did you make a New Year's resolution? Some of you shared your goals at the VOA Learning English page on Facebook. 
And no surprise, many of you said at least one of your goals for 2012 is to speak English better. Daniel Kwan even went so far as to declare, I'm definitely going to try to study English at least an hour a day. Jose Antonio Velarde says, my first resolution is to speak English as fluently as my Spanish. And Tutti Riel says, my New Year's resolution is to be able to speak English and Mandarin fluently and be a better person. Juita Zulmi says she wants to improve her English and get a scholarship to study overseas. Okay, jadi ini bagus sekali. Uh, versinya versi lambat untuk beginner ya. Dan kita bisa subscribe ya. Kemudian uh, kalau saya kembalikan ke pencarian awal di Voice of America Learning English ya. Ini juga ada kayak uh, latihan-latihan seperti ini ya. Uh, misalnya Obama Obama jadi Obama berdiskusi ya. oh yeah get ready to laugh in this lesson we're going to learn from Barack Obama ex president of the United States and we're going to lie by the way if you're new here every week we can help you to understand fast speaking natives just like Obama without getting lost without listening to jokes, and without subtitles. Like Hiro Yuki, who says that our lessons have helped him understand his favorite movies without subtitles. So if you want to be on that listen too, it's really simple. Just hit that subscribe button and the bell below so you don't miss any of our new lessons. So when you're at home, can you, like, can you run down to the kitchen in your underpants in the middle of the night if you're hungry? I mean, I could. I, I don't. You don't. No. Is there someone in the kitchen at all times? Like, if you wanted a sandwich in the night, would you have to wake someone up? I, I, yeah, I wouldn't wake somebody up to have a sandwich. You're allowed to go into the refrigerator on I your am. own? I am. There, there's, there's a refrigerator and, and there's silverware. When was the last time you, you actually cooked? Uh, no, it's been a while since I cooked. It has been a while. It has been a while. I, I, I won't lie about that. Do you ever drive? I cannot drive. I mean, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm able to drive. Is that actually, you don't actually, have a birth certificate? Yeah, exactly. uh, <laughs> in Kenya, we drive on the other side. Of the <laughs> okay, nice, ya. Yeah. Ini nice banget, jadi kayaknya menarik karena live performance, ya. Yeah. Kemudian juga ini ada berita yang berita yang ya kita lebih fokus ke how to pronounce ya ya. The United Nations Human Rights Agency says airstrikes this month have killed at least 108 civilians in the Tigray area of Ethiopia. Japan reports North Korea test-fired a missile on Friday, one day after the United States placed additional restrictions on the North. Ya, yeah, ini versinya activities. sangat lambat ya. <laughs> ya, yeah, kalau bukan beginner mungkin terlalu mudah ya. Yeah. And military links after a legal case against Oke, okay, ini pembanding aja. Jadi kalau kita kembali ke Link Q ini ya. Kita kembali ke Link Q. Uh, di promosinya dikatakan banyak yang bisa dipilih ya. Banyak yang bisa dipilih. Uh, dari sini ya. Ya ini Liliana tadi. Kita kembali ke awal. Dan kita klik lesson sini ya. Nah, ini juga uh, baru yang like baru saya ya oke okay, jadi um, 
banyak ya pilihan-pilihan yang di sini. Sekarang memang untuk autonomous learner ini sangat bagus, ya. sangat bagus. Nah, kita lihat, nah, ini sedang loading ya. Apa aja pilihan yang bisa dibuat, ya? Oke, okay. ya, misalnya kita milih yang jadi ini banyak pilihannya, ternyata ya, banyak pilihannya. Uh, ya, kita milih yang vocabulary, misalnya, bagi beginner kan bagus ya, namanya vocabulary. Uh, pilihannya apa aja? Oke, okay. belum ada ya. The lessons ya, yang lebih banyak tadi lessons. Oke, okay. lessons yang sudah diambil itu berarti di library tadi. Library. Oke, okay. ini misalnya kita pilih yang lucu. What is more foolish? Ya. Jadi kayaknya ini lebih baik daripada yang view tadi karena ini ada pilihan bisa dicepatkan atau tidak, ya. Nah, kita cek yang ini. What is more foolish? Farmer White wanted to buy some things at the store. Storekeeper Jones had a lot of bicycles in the store, and he wanted to sell one to the farmer. Look here, Farmer White, he said. I can sell you a very good bicycle, and you can ride around your farm on it every day. Oh no, said the farmer. I don't want a bicycle. I think a cow is more useful, and the price is just the same. But just think, said the storekeeper Jones. You can't ride round the town on a cow. That's foolish. Oh, I don't know which is more foolish, answered the farmer with a smile. To ride on a cow or to milk a bicycle. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ini cerita lucu, tapi lucunya itu memang harus dipahami, ya, dipahami dalam konteksnya. Ya. Oke, jadi ini mungkin bisa dicoba, menarik ya, jadi sebagai aplikasi untuk belajar sendiri, ya, uh, listening, ya. Nah, jadi ada teks kemudian dibacakan, ya, dibacakan atau memang lebih dari Suaranya dibacakan dan ada teksnya. Okay, I think it's enough for today. Uh, thanks for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.